Okay, everybody. So, here we are, part four of the hobble grunt. Um, Gruff is actually turned out pretty good. I was able to save, <laughs> salvage my mistake. So, um, now if you want, you can go ahead and take off all your tie-off bands, except for this last one, which is holding his neck piece together. So, if you want to go through and pull those all off, you can. Um, it seems like his head, like his jaw is longer on this one, and it's not. I did the same thing. I guess it's not. I don't know. Whatever. It still looks good, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, same length. So, I'm just being insane. Maybe I made his the top of his head longer on the other one I don't know I think it looks it looks good anyway so like I said we're going to start taking off these tie off bands I should have made that last one a different color so I would have known for sure which one it was okay so you just grab those little loops with your hook A snap on my fingers. And then there's this one. So go through, pull all your tie off bands off, and come back, and we'll start on his neck. So I got all his tie off bands off. There wasn't many, there's only three or six, three on each one of these. And then you want to make sure you leave this guy because now we have to do his neck. So I had to watch the Bone Napper video to find out how long his neck was because, of course, the one thing I didn't draw out was his neck. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So his neck is purple on my other one, so I'm going to make it teal just to mix it up a little bit. Grab a handful of teal. We're going to make spikes too, so we're going to need orange. But his neck is eight. eight long and you use three bands each so one oh, man. two and I was hoping to have this up today because tomorrow is the 4th of July and the library is closed and that's how I upload my videos either on their Wi-Fi or on their computers so you guys are just gonna have to wait Okay, now we're going to put these three loops on here. And you want his head up. And then we are going to make spikes, which are one, two, three, orange. So you need a ton of orange for this because we're going to make all our spikes all at once. So let's see how many we need. Might as well count. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 14 orange spikes. So I'm going to make a few with you and then I'm going to pause my video and finish up. 14. Okay, so grab a nice big pile of orange bands. And it's the same as the teeth. So, one, two, three times around for a cap. And then three doubled orange bands. Two, 
three. So there's one spike. Two, three. Whoops. Two. Three. There's number two. <sighs> if I wouldn't have had so much trouble I had two movies, two of these, on my phone at the same time. So when I tried to download them, they kept telling me that I didn't have enough space to download them or save them to my camera roll. So I was having to delete files, delete music, delete videos that I had saved on here just so I could save the video to my camera roll so I could take it off my camera to put it on the computer. So. That took, I'd say, about half an hour of fighting with my phone to get it so there was enough space to save the video to my phone, just so I could get it off my phone. So now I know I can't have two videos on here at the same time. So there's four. I'm going to do one more. Two, three. One. Two. You'd think I would have learned by now. And three. So this is five of them, and we need how many did I say? Fourteen? So keep going. Pause the video. Keep going. So you have fourteen spikes. And then come back when you're done, and I will come back when I'm done, and we will continue the video. Okay, so I've got 13, so I'm doing one more. <sighs> Two. And this should be all of the spikes we need. I figure it's just easier. Once you get started, just keep going. <laughs> okay. Now that includes his tail, so this is going to be his neck, his body, and his tail's worth of spikes. Put these, I guess I'll put them over here by his legs, in the least dog hairy place. Okay, put the orange back. Now, we're going to do every other one. So, hmm, I wonder if I started with that one? I think I started this one. So, if I'm wrong, we might need one more spike. So, we're gonna loom up. I'm gonna add the spikes as we go, that way they stick up. So, you're gonna loom, grab all, whoa, whoops. His head came off, hold on. Gotta put him back on. Okay, <laughs> gotta hold the head or he'll flip right off. So grab those three neck bands and look, it did it again. I hate you. Get back on there. There. Now, we're going to put a spike here. I left a few on my hook. Man, it is hard to see past this giant head of his. And now you're probably going to see my head. <coughs> Let go. And grab the bands and go one. Two, and we're gonna put another one here. Seems like if I put it there, one there, we're gonna do one, two. It doesn't matter if you've got them pointing off to the side because once they loom, they'll stick the right direction. Then we're gonna do another one here. And go. Ugh. One and two. Yeah, this is right. Then we're gonna stick one here. And then we're gonna go one. 
and then we're going to tie this off. Then we can pull off his little neck. Now, the one problem with his neck being so long is it makes it floppy. He's going to have a, a purple part atop, on top of this green. Oh well. Whatever. I think it'll still look okay. Pull off this tie-off band up here. There we go. So his head is going to be floppy. See, because his head's really heavy. So you are going to need to wire at least his neck to make his neck stand up. Um, I wired his neck from here to the top of his head, see where it sticks out. And then I also wired his tail, and it looks like I stopped here, and I went all the way to the end. So I can make him stand up. And I also, I use a C-clip to clip his back spikes on this one to the back spikes there. That way it kind of holds, sorry, it holds his body up. So if you have wire, great. You're going to need it to make him stand up. If you don't mind if he doesn't stand up, I mean, it's no big deal. You can use probably, if you've got a big, one of the big paper clips, you could probably unfold it and put it up there. And that would work for his neck and you don't have to worry about his tail. So, see, mine will stand up on his, sit up on his own, at least for a little while. Um, so, there you go. So, I'm not going to show you how to wire his neck. It's not that difficult. You just kind of try to hide the wire in there. So, there's his head and his neck. Kind of looks like a weird snake. I don't know. So, let's see. Let's work on his wings. These are the exact, let's see, wings, wings, wings. There's a wing. There's a wing. Now, pointing this way. We're going to change this middle row so it is a complete arrow. So we're going to move it up. So forgetting I can't push down because this is squishy. So you want a real arrow. Okay. And his wings are mainly purple and then they have orange tips. So you, But then they're going to have the teal spots. Maybe I'll do his body as teal and have purple spots. Nah. Nah. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. We're going to do purple wings with the teal spots and the orange tips. <gasps> oh, man. I don't think I have enough purple. Well... He might have purple wings and he might have a green body. We'll have to see. Hopefully we've got enough purple to do two wings. Hmm. Yeah. We'll find out. Woohoo! Okay, so we are gonna go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we're gonna do. The arrows are pointing towards me. We're gonna do one. Two. Then we're gonna do teal. I'm pretty sure I got more teal, but I don't think I have any more purple. I need to drive across town to get this light purple. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see. So we've got two purple. I'm mumbling a lot in this video. Jibber jabber, jibber jabber. One purple. One teal. And then two more purple. So. Yeah, 
That looks good. Okay, then we're gonna do three purple. That one's all stretched out. We're not using that one. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Purple. I hear firecrackers. I am so tired. Ugh, I might have to go to bed soon. I had to get up at 5.45 this morning. And I just realized how late it is. Okay, two purple, and then we've got a teal. And a purple. So this row is purple, 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 teal, purple, purple, teal, purple. Then this row is starting with teal. Teal. And four purple. One. Two. Four. And then we've got a teal. And two purple. Two purple. And then the last one is teal. And then these two rows are going to be orange. And these are just orange, so we can move those off to the side. We are going one, two, three, four, five. So it's on the corner of the teal one. That goes out. which way. I have to figure out which order I want to do this. If I want to go this way or this way. We'll go this way and then if I'm wrong we can change it. Two. Three. Four. Go this way. Man, how do I not remember? Three. Whoops, two. Three. Four. Okay. Now we're going to make our road this way, which is. Teal first. Teal. Then purple. And then orange. And orange. Now. <laughs> we need wing points. And a claw. eyes are burning. Okay, so we need a little bit of gray for a claw, which is going on the top of the wing, because all the dragons have like a little finger on the top of their wings. <laughs> and we're just gonna do, I don't know, two, maybe? Oh, that's gonna be three. Oh. <gasps> Three times around. One. Two. Three. 
Okay, and that is going to go right here. <coughs> and then the wingtips are going to be orange, and they're going to be the cap, cap band, and then four double bands, because they're a little bit longer. So, cap band, two, three. <sighs> One, two, three. Whoop, don't pull it back. <laughs> and one more. Now, we don't have to cap this off because this is going to be our cap. And we want it to curve upwards. Yeah. Which it should be doing anyway. See how it curves up? And this one will kind of curve up. There we go. Now we need two more of these because it's going to go every other one. So, cap. Two, three. Whoops, 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 missed one. Two. Three. Wow. Now, snapped my finger. Four. And that goes on this one. Sure, I got all of them on there. Yep. Okay, do it again. One, two, three. My next video, I think I'm gonna make not a dragon. Because I'm working on a secret dragon. I ordered bands for him. I got getting the those new glow in the dark those electric blue bands from Rainbow Loom and don't worry that's not a hint because <laughs> I just want them because they're new bands and I couldn't think of anything to use them for but I think I'm gonna work on my new dragon with them and if someone actually guesses what my new dragon is gonna be he is going to be blue. That's the only hint you get. Okay. So, we've got our little claw. We've got our little wing tip thingies. Now we're going to do the horizontal bands. Because those are everybody's favorite. I guess... I'm going to do green. Because... Or teal. Because I don't have very much more purple. So we're going to do triangles. Triangle. Oop. Triangle. Better cracker. Triangle. Whoops. Missed. Triangle. I don't know if it should be. Yeah. <coughs> nope, nope, nope. Don't want to do that. I want to do this. And then this one. I think that's good. And one here. Do I add one here? Sure, why not? Make a double loop. And put it there. I don't think it's really necessary, but <clears throat> better to have it than not. I need it. Okay. See? This one needs something. Oh! One more. One more triangle on this one. There we go. Okay. Now we can loom. Move all these purples. Move what's left of my little teals. 
And if I'm wrong about, uh, I can always get more bands tomorrow. But I'm going to stop after this one wing anyway. So we're going to start and we're going to go up this way. But we're going to do this one and then this one. This one and then this one. This one, this one, this one, and this one. That way you get this nice line here. It looks cleaner. So hold, pull back on your wingtip and you want to get this guy, which is on top. And hold the wingtip because that's your cat band. Now we got to get this one. She's coming up here to hide from the fireworks. Yep. That's what I just said. Go on, Delta. You gotta go outside. Mom's little dog came up here to hide from the firecrackers. <laughs> and then the purple one, because it's on top. And then this green one. Didn't mean to yell in you guys' ear. You're, hopefully you're not wearing headphones. And this green one. I forgot I had the video going. <laughs> and this one. That just gives you that nice, nice line because you can see that it pulled both parts of this loop with this one and this one. Okay, now we're going to go. Hmm, we're going to go up this one first. We're going to take this off for a second. I have this in the wrong... See, I said we're going to have to fix it if I got that in the wrong order. So we're going to do this. And then this. And then put that one down. There we go. Now we can put this back on. I have to remember that. I'm going to write... No, I'm not. I penciled all the way over there. Here we go, right. hold on. I knew my mom was gonna come in here for the dog. And I wish I would have left the video going. She was singing. Oh well. <laughs> it would have been funny. Okay, so we gotta do this row first. <sighs> okay, and now we can do this one all the way up here. It got caught, so I got a swizzle. There we go. And then you gotta get under this guy and get this one. And then get that one. Okay. Now, we can do these just the rest of the way up. <sighs> I guess I'll start with this one. might actually look kind of cool with the green underneath. I keep saying green. Teal. Teal. Or turquoise. What? No, it's not turquoise. Turquoise is the light blue. It's teal. I don't know. I don't know what Rainbow Loom calls it. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, man. All the way up. This one you got to make sure you get through the claw and the horizontal band to get all the way to the bottom purple one. And you don't have to do the same colors as me, obviously. Hopefully you know that and you're not copying me. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to copy me. That's what I'm saying. Oh man, I am just babbling. Oh my god, get back on there. So you gotta kind of push it down. That's what happens when you have to get up at the. Be 
beginning of the day. Okay, so now we gotta tie these three off. I can't say what I normally would say. Tie that one off. And tie that one off. And tie the green one off. I think that's twisted, but it doesn't matter. Okay, now we can pull these guys off. And I think it should come off pretty easy. You might have to help it with this one. Yeah. You just gotta get their fingers and pull up on that one. It's just because there's a lot of bands on there. Nope, it's going to do it on this orange one, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, wants to come apart again. Okay. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> Turned out good. it so you know fiddle around with it so it looks good there we go there's one wing now this wing you've got to mirror this wing maybe you don't and it's just easier if you I guess you don't you can still push it the other way. Yeah, you don't have to mirror it. Do the exact same wing again. But when you put these wing tips on, instead of having them curve up, make them curve down. Same thing with the claw. Um, you just want it to curve down when you put it on. That way we can have one wing where they're curling up on one side and then when it's on the other side, the other one will curve the other way. So, rewind the video and do this wing all over again. Um, and that's it for me for tonight, I think. Because I think I'm babbling because I'm so tired. So, I will finish them up tomorrow, I swear. <laughs> Then we just have the body, the tail, and the belly. Yeah. So, like I said, you can do the exact same layout on the wing, just when you put the, the little spikes on, put them so they curve down. These curved up, you want them to curve down. Okay. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. I'll have the next video up. And if you want to try to guess what my next dragon will be, you can go ahead and try in the comment section. Um, it's one that hasn't been done yet, so hopefully I'm the first one to do it. I'm going to try to figure out how to do him. Okay, thank you. Bye. See you next time.